So good morning everyone and today we're going to be uh, working on creating a basic test uh, using the latest UFT 11.5 created by HP. Uh, this is going to be actually very new. Uh, I don't know if any anyone has uh, worked on this before. So here we go. Um, Right now what we're trying to do is to get the um, flight application uh, that we're going to test. So we click on that and uh, we enter a name and uh, password. So we are going to be testing this flight application. Uh, bear in mind before we continue uh, uh, for that, we you need to understand when you are creating uh, a basic test. You need to understand the starting point of your test and the end point of your test. This is very important when you are doing automated testing because if actually don't do that again. <laughs> if if actually uh, you don't get it right, you're gonna have lots of errors. Okay, so uh, bear that in mind. Okay, so. Um, We will actually open the unified functional testing and we'll click on a new new and we'll select uh, GUI test. Okay, and you can give it the name as uh, Victor test. Yeah, and uh, you're creating that. So, um, one of the most important things to check for here is to actually check your recording settings and make sure that I record and uh, run test uh, on any open browser and take it away from here and make sure it's, you know, run and record test on uh, any open. So you click on apply and I'm going to tell you that I'm just, um, don't bring that up again. Click OK. OK. And here we go. Record. Okay, so now what we're going to start from, we're going to put in the uh, date for the business process. So we have a date as 10, 0, 01, uh, 0, 01, 13. Sorry, that's going to be a problem, but doesn't matter now. And we're going to be flying from London to Denver. And we're checking if we have any flight on that day yes we do and then we select that and you put in your name and uh, I was going first class uh, and I'm buying a ticket for me and my partner so and then we set uh, the order Okay, so remember where in the beginning I said the started and the ending of a business process. So we started by clicking on this button which says create a new business process, uh, flight reservation, sorry. And when we finish, uh, we've got our uh, flight order uh, number, then we can now end by clicking on that button. So when this is done, you click on uh, stop. So it's going to take us to this environment where we have to uh, now save uh, our recording. So you click on save as. Okay, uh, it's important that uh, it's important that we do this on uh, an a place where actually you can uh, get hold of it <laughs> yeah, so that's it there save active screen same result same raw result also so we'll just do that save okay here we go so we'll come here, we'll go back here and uh, 
we want to run this to see if we're going to have any problems i'm suspecting we're going to do that because of uh, the type 0111 where i had to put 0 0.2 but whatever i think we'll overcome it and i'll show you how so it's running and it's running very well and that's 70%, 80% and that's done and fantastic, that's good to go. So this is uh, the way to uh, create a very simple business process using the latest uh, HP uh, Unified Functional Testing. So let's see what our results are, so it's not saved. So that's it for now. So what, what we'd like to do now is to check our uh, test result to see um, what the results actually are. So we click on the uh, icon, uh, which is the HP run, run result uh, viewer. and. Uh, I think what we like to do here is to expand uh, all and uh, check our action summary and here we can see here we can see that is, the result is done and uh, the status is passed no fail so actually if you if you do this and you get to this level um, where your status is passed, you know you've done a good job. Um, thank you very much, and uh, in the next lesson, uh, I will continue on all two. Thank you.